Hey everyone, welcome back. It's, it's been a while. How are you? I'm as good as can be expected. I've lost count. I think it's about 13 or 14 weeks now post-surgery with a broken wrist. So I'm back on the bike, not riding hard or fast, but I'm back on two wheels again. So a few weeks ago, the fine folks over at HSU contacted me and said, hey, we've got a brand new way of mounting your GoPro. Are you interested in trying it out? Now, if this is something that does interest you, I need you to come at this with an open mind and an open heart because it might be a little bit jarring to the eye initially. This is the HSU camera shoulder mount. So if you've seen any of my footage before, you'll know I ride with a full face helmet and a GoPro chin mount on the front. And that's what I always recommend. But the chin mount's great, it's cheap, it provides a good viewing angle, it's right next to your mouth so it gets good audio. Your neck is a natural gimbal so it provides extra stabilization, so that's why I always recommend it. But what if you don't want to wear a full face? It's too hot, the trails are just not that gnarly. For whatever reason, you just don't want to wear one. What do you do? Well up until now you've had two main options. The first, stick it on top of your head. That sucks, the viewing angle's not really that good. You tend to get the visor in the way. It can get kind of windy up there and it's a little bit far away from your mouth as well. The next option, which is what most people do, is to get a chest mount, stick it right here, either just on a plate or on a gimbal. And so the chest mount's not too bad, it's what most people do. I've never done it for a couple reasons. I tend, the viewing angle, you tend to get too many arms and knees and bike in the way. So I don't like the viewing angle. The second thing is, I get kind of sweaty as well, so you can drop sweat all over it, it can get foggy, you can get your hydration hose dangling in the way, so I've never done it, I don't really like it. So this is the new contender, we're going to take it down a couple trails and figure out does this thing hold up with the stabilisation, is it going to bounce around too much, and then I guess just overall comfort. So I'm out Mount Narrow, I'm going to do Rampage over into Anchors. Now I'm not going to do the crazy stuff at the start of Rampage, but if you play your cards right, I might just try and gap this thing. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I said I was going to go into anchors, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to lap rampage a couple of times. So I think I'm going to struggle to be able to get this thing to work. As soon as you get any kind of bumps, this thing just tilts down to the ground. So either I've got this thing way too loose, or this thing just ain't cut out for mountain biking. Let's go for round two. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've tightened this thing up as tight as it can possibly go. So if it doesn't work this time, well, we could be in some big problems here. Alright, so I'm sure that's as tight as it can possibly go. And the exact same problem as last time. So it just, as soon as it gets chunky, it just falls forward. So yeah, just going down cruisy fire roads like this, it's, uh, it's alright, it's comfortable enough. It has a viewing angle. It's, um, it's difficult to get a good viewing angle to show any part of your bike and like dead ahead. So yeah, going downhill you can get some of your bike and the trail in the shot but as soon as you go downhill it falls forward so it's kind of difficult all right i'm going to give this thing one more attempt down rampage and then we're going to go home for my final thoughts for round three is this strike three yep Pointing straight at the ground again. All right, let's go home. This is a little bit awkward. Now, so listen, going into this, I knew I was never gonna change from the chin mount. It just works too well. Now, I'm sure there are some use cases for the shoulder mount, but mountain biking is probably not one of them. But don't, don't sleep on HSU just yet because they do a bunch of stuff, not just the shoulder mount. So they sent me through an accessory pack, which is supposed to work with the shoulder mount, but it works with the GoPro and DJI and other stuff just in general. And so it's an extension arm kit and it comes with a couple of different pieces here. So one long extension arm, so we could go like even higher off the shoulder, but I couldn't get it to work down here. So it was never going to work up there, but I can definitely see some use cases for this and not just in mountain biking either. And I really had high hopes because, so this is like a machined alloy. It feels bulletproof and it's also really nice and light. So really high quality, but the thing that impressed me most, so it comes with these thumb screws and these screws are also 
It's like also a machined alloy. Is that gonna focus? There we go. And so the thumb screws you get with GoPro, they're pretty crummy. They're like this little plastic dinky things. And if you use them for long enough, they crack and you can over tighten them as well. But this also comes with just another machined alloy piece, which is like a wrench for it. So you can just lock it in and easily untighten. So if you're out in the trails and things get stuck, it's no good, but this, you just carry a wrench with you and it's gonna get you out of trouble. So if you are in the market for some GoPro accessories, like I've gone onto eBay and bought the cheap dodgy stuff before. Sometimes it works and most of the time it's junk, but it kind of gets you by. But HSU have got a bunch of stuff. So I also have like this uh, tripod for the GoPro, which I use all the time out in the trails. This one was like, I don't know, 30 bucks on eBay and it's, it's pretty trashy and I've gone through a couple of them because they just break. So HSU has one, I think so 40 US dollars at the moment right now and looks much better than this. And so if you are in the market for some GoPro accessories, like definitely check out their website. If you don't want to pay like the nosebleed prices for the official GoPro stuff, this stuff looks a lot cheaper and it, it, I'm telling you, it's good quality. So thanks HSU for sending me this through to try out. I wish I could have done a more favorable review, but I just couldn't get it to work. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It really helps out the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.